Hey, my name is Aaron at Redbird Speed. Today, I'm going to be talking with you about bolt patterns. Now, sometimes people get messed up on this. I just want to kind of clear this up so we're all on the same page about how we measure, why we do it, and what we're doing here. So, first things first. When you're looking at an axle and you got the center of your axle, it's usually a center drill. You got a hub right here where your, your brake register pilot's on. So, like, this is this is going to be the imaginary line where your studs are. So, let's... Let's do a five lug pattern. So you can imagine your outer flange diameter is gonna be out here. So, so this is where your studs come through. So stud one, stud two, stud three, stud four, stud five. So when you're measuring a five lug bolt pattern, you're technically going from the center of stud one to this imaginary point down here. There's no stud there. So you're measuring from center of stud one to the center of the bottom of this diameter of this bolt circle. So that's why your number can kind of get thrown off. So when you measure from the center of stud one down here to the center of stud three, when you're measuring center to center right there, like let's say you're talking about a Chevy car, you got a Chevelle and you're measuring your bolt pattern of your wheels. That's going to be four and a half inches from center of stud to center of stud. You add a quarter of an inch to that, and you're going to get your four and three quarter bolt pattern. So, like if you come down here and you were measuring straight across to this imaginary point on your bolt circle, stud one to across here, that's going to be the diameter of that bolt circle. So, five on four and three quarter, you got four and three quarter inches center to center on your diameter, and you got five evenly spaced studs around that circle. So, that's why this kind of gets messed up because this is that's not the same distance from here to here as here to down here. So uh, some people, a little hack that they'll do is they'll go from the outside of stud one to the center of stud three, and that'll get you closer. Um, if there's any questions about this, just go to your local parts store and buy a template. You can drop a template right on the right on your wheel or right on your axle and find out what you have. So that can save you a lot of headache by doing it that way. So let's talk about something like a six lug axle in a Chevy truck. So a six lug axle, so you get your stud one, stud two, stud three, stud four, stud five, stud six. So when you're measuring this, you're going from the center of stud one, you're measuring from right here to right here, center of stud one to center of stud four. And if you're measuring a six lug truck axle, six on five and a half, that would be five and a half inches from the center of that stud to the center of that stud. So it kind of gives you, gives you an idea. So anything with an even number, evenly spaced, like four lug, six lug, eight lug, you're going from the center of that stud to the center of that stud. So center of hole, center of hole. Anything with a five lug, you're gonna be measuring on diagonal. If you measure center to center, add a quarter of an inch, or you can hook your tape measure on the outside, go from the outside of that stud one to the center of stud three. So hopefully this kind of clears that up a little bit. This is kind of like a, I guess measuring bolt patterns is kind of like a machinist type thing. So like uh, if you're programming this into a machine or just laying something out on a blueprint, whatever, that's how that, that's how you come up with this number. You got six, like on this example, you got six holes on a bolt pattern. So that's the center of this imaginary line, six evenly spaced holes, five and a half inches in diameter across that imaginary circle. So that's how you come up with that. So hopefully that clears things up. If you have any questions, again, get a template, give us a call. Better to measure twice and cut once to do it right the first time. So if you have any questions, Give us a ring. We'll go from there. Hey, we appreciate your support. Thanks for checking out the video. Be sure to subscribe. Have a good day.